Wear the Gown is sponsored by CHI St. Vincent. Summer is here and it is hot across central Arkansas. There are places to discover and plenty of adventures to be had, but sunny days can also be quite dangerous. In this week's Wear the Gown, THV 11's Rolly Hoyt shows us how to handle and avoid a heat stroke. This summer is looking so much different than last year with folks excited to get outside and enjoy the sun. But don't underestimate that fiery ball in the sky. You can say, well, I've always worked outside. I've always mowed the yard. I've always been on the lake and so forth. But you don't realize that this year you're different than the same person last year and your risk may be higher. Dr. Ali Kirst is the director of the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute in Sherwood. I see every day two to three strokes, believe it or not, in our emergency room. He says a stroke happens when your brain isn't getting enough oxygen. A heat stroke is different, but the outcomes can be the same. When your body is exposed to very high temperatures for an extended period of time, your brain cells feel it and start to overheat. It cannot be too low and cannot be too high. That's why we have a normal body temperature which ra ranges from like uh, 96 to 98 degrees. You might start feeling confused and tired. You could feel sick to your stomach and feel like your heart is racing. So what do you do? First, get out of the heat. Go inside, drink water, take off your clothes if you have to. Anything to cool down your body and your brain cells. Usually you'll start to feel better within a few minutes, but in extreme cases. It takes a few days for the cells to recover from the stress that has been exposed to. Dr. Kirsch says if you notice the confusion and fatigue sticking around for much longer, get to the emergency room and play it safe if you start to feel the heat. Don't stay in the heat too long. Try to get in the shade. And not only that, the shade may not be enough. Most of it really is common sense, but it comes with not underestimating the seriousness of what can go wrong. 